At the age of 21, Ken Wangi is Kenya's top squash player. His female counterpart is even younger. Kalika Nimji is just 16 years old. And the two top Kenyan athletes share a similar tale when it comes to squash. My father used to play. So he introduced me to the game when I was very young. And uh, as soon as he introduced me, uh, I continued playing it and that's how I fell in love with the sport. My dad used to play for Kenya um, a few years, like in 1980s. And he wanted us to play uh, squash as well. But when we were really young, we also played tennis. So we were mixing tennis and squash, but we preferred squash a lot better. But if you thought it's an easy road for anyone to take, think again. It's quite challenging. Coach courts are only available in clubs, of which you have to be a member in a club. So basically, it's, 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 it's a bit hard for guys even like who, who, who are not privileged to be in clubs to join. Ken and Kalika are among a group of six busy training for the upcoming Commonwealth Games. Their coach, Zambian professional squash player, Modekai Kabamba has a realistic view of their chances. Well, on the main side, I would say we have 60 to 70 percent of really getting something back. With the ladies, I might say 40 to 50. Um, most of the ladies are really struggling. When we analyze what they've been doing compared to the men, they lack the ability to stay on court and push that hard a little bit. It will not be Kalika's first Commonwealth tournament either. She represented her country at the astonishing age of 13. This time I'm much older so I have more experience over the years. But I think in terms of the Commonwealth, the professionals are still really good. So obviously it will still be hard for me. Her teammate, Violet, though, is making her debut at the age of 38. I have to work harder than any other person who will leave the house and come to the court to train. Why? Because I have an 8 to 5 job. Uh, but again, when you work smart, you juggle in between you the 24 hours that are in a day. So that's how I manage too. But I can tell you when I get into that court, it's serious business. First time Commonwealth competitor Ken's teammates include Hadip Reland and Hartaj Baines. He's confident he won't disappoint though after playing at a world event last year. I gained a lot, a lot of experience because I played with the, the best of the world. My goal is actually to, 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 to reach a medal bracket. While the Commonwealth Games may afford the opportunity for glory, these players realize their sport may never be popular in Kenya. Instead, they will have to find international avenues to further their careers. For Mordecai, it's been a frustrating road for the sport in Africa. Back home, the, the, the biggest sponsor was ZCCM, uh, Zambia Consolidated Copper Mine. It was privatized. So when the investors came, they cut the sponsorship of sport, including the national team. The Zambi team, they also cut that. So for you to play, you have to get your own sponsors. So that was a bit difficult to get. For now, though, the team's focus is on the upcoming games. Players are perfecting their technique to ensure that their country will be proud. Celestine Caroné, CCTV.